Welcome, I'm Rob. You join me at the start of Heat 1 of the second round of Grid Series at T-Sport Sheffield. In case you missed it, I qualified in 6th place with a time of 59.054 seconds. About half a second slower than I'd like to have been. I've been allocated the same cars again for this race, so I should have a good feel for it. The cart in 7th place took a look up the inside of the first hairpin, but he couldn't quite make a way through. The group house in front are all really quick drivers, but the driver directly in front of me is on a fairly similar pace, so he's my target. They are fighting hard in front, and it's keeping the group together, but there haven't been any opportunities for anyone to think about making any moves just yet. A bad habit of mine during races is I focus ahead of me too much. I'm never 100% aware of how close drivers are behind me. I have a vague idea, but I really need to improve on that. He's run wide through the top pits bend, and I make my pass through up the inside. Now I just need to get my braking right for the hairpin. So I'm up into fifth place. Can I catch the already departing group ahead? I'm lapping at a decent enough pace similar to how I qualified, but that gap is just opening up. The car I passed is sitting quite close to me still. I'm faster overall, but there are a couple of areas that he's pushing me along as he's carried more speed. With the carts ahead off in the distance, I'm driving a defensive line for most of the track. It's working out so far, but it's not necessarily the quickest way to drive the lap. I've made a mistake through the second hairpin and he's taken a quick look at a move, but I've got enough momentum to stay ahead. I can't afford mistakes like that. I'm getting a lot of nudges now, so I know he's looking to pass. I need to concentrate, but stay with those defensive lines. It seems to be working out so far.
I'm not seeing a train of carts behind me either though. I think it's just the two of us fighting away here. And if that's the case and he does get past, say la vie, it's not the end of the world. But if there are others and they get past too, that would be a disaster. With the pressure from behind, I'm building my pace some more now too, and I've broken through into the 58 second laps. Why couldn't I do these earlier? More glancing around and more nudges from behind. He's struggling to find a way through, and I'm managing to defend well enough. And as we come onto the final lap, I'm actually starting to get tired now. I'm pretty sure there are two carts directly behind me, and I just need to keep pushing and not lose these places. I've stuck with the mega defensive lines through these lower pit sections and up onto this ramp. It's worked so far, I took a few nudges, but there's been no attempts to get past me just yet. And boy was I pleased to see that checkered flag. I set my fastest lap of the session on that final go around, and interestingly, the cart behind had exactly the same lap time. I gained and held a position in a race, so that's another new achievement unlocked for me. As I came out of that second hairpin, the cart actually gave up. I had what felt like stuck brakes, it had no power and seemed to misfire if I went for full throttle. I'm glad it held on for that checkered flag. Heat 2 will come tomorrow, and we'll be once again starting in 6th place, but we will be in a different car this time. There are two more heats to come, tomorrow and Sunday, and the final will be on Monday evening. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do give that little button a click. It helps me to grow the channel and bring more exciting content, but will also mean that you won't miss out on the next videos either. What's not to love? As always, thank you so much for joining me on my go-karting adventures. Please do give the video a like and leave any feedback down below in the comments. Until Heat 2 tomorrow, cheers. Thank you.